This tutorial covers how to embed your Tumult Hype document within an existing web page, and then shows how to upload that document to the web. Our goal is to place the small banner we created in Hype at the top of a web page. We'll insert this animation into an HTML file located on our computer. First, examine our HTML document by opening it in an HTML editor such as Tumult HyperEdit. We'll place our banner at this point in the code. To accomplish this, we first need to export our Tumult Hype document to the same folder as this HTML file. Choose File, Export as HTML5 folder, and ensure that the Also Save HTML file is enabled in the export dialog. Next, click Save. We now have a generated HTML file named banner.html and a resources folder, which contains everything needed to display our animation. This is the generated HTML file exported by Hype. It is a simple web page which references the JavaScript also generated by Hype, which in turn loads all of the images and content required to display our document. The URL of the generated script here is known as a relative URL. It is relative because it references a file relative to its current location within a folder. We'll copy the code from this document into our other HTML document. We're using HyperEdit to preview this file, but any plain text editor can be used to copy this code. In this HTML file, we'll paste our Hype code where we want it to appear. We can now save this file. To get this document on the web, we'll use Transmit to upload our files. Transmit is a popular FTP client used to transfer files to and from servers. After we insert our server domain, username, and password, we can connect to our server. To upload our web content, we'll drag our edited HTML file along with our exported Hype Documents resources onto Transmit. With everything uploaded, we can now test our document on the web by visiting our URL, demo.tumult.com. Since the file name of our document is index.html, the page is automatically shown when our site is loaded. This is the default behavior of most web servers. If instead we rename our HTML document to index2.html, our server will not display this file without explicitly including the file name. In this example, we have used a relative URL to display our animation, but in some situations, an absolute URL may be required. An absolute URL contains the full domain and is useful for displaying your animation on different domains. To embed the same animation on another site, we'll need to use the full path of the generated JavaScript file. Since our file is located on the demo.tumult.com domain under the folder banner.resources, the only adjustment we need to make to the embed code is the addition of http colon slash slash demo.tumult.com slash. We can now copy and paste this code for easy inclusion on another domain. Here's the process for including our animation on newhive.com, a site for building creative single page websites. This method is also useful for embedding on Squarespace, self-hosted WordPress sites, and other platforms. For more exporting options, please visit the links at the bottom of this video.